how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome back to another Ninjago season 11 sort of end of season 10 discussion slash speculation video here on the channel. I really don't know what to title this one but I figured I'd just take this opportunity to talk about this rumor because it's been picking up a lot of traction from what I've seen on various forms of social media and I just kind of want to go ahead and give my overall thoughts on it sort of just give my two cents um, but yeah, the idea right now is that Ninjago could potentially be crossing over with Legends of Chima for the 11th season. So, obviously, a few red flags are flown up right away. First of all, Legends of Chima is over, right? That concluded, I believe, in 2015 because we got Nexo Knights as a replacement, and I think that's done now as well, so... Clearly the Ninjago replacements haven't gotten very far. But what's weird about that is that Chima technically exists within the world of Ninjago, as in the fifth season we discovered that Chima was a realm uh, of Ninjago. Of course there are 16 realms in total, and a few of them are parallel to each other, such as the Cursed Realm and Jinjago. Obviously those two were connected. But yeah, Chima is a realm apparently in the world of Ninjago, as we saw that. So I can actually kind of maybe see this happening. My question is, why this late? If they wanted to do a Legends of Chima and Ninjago crossover, they should have probably done that when Chima was still relevant and still around. Because the theme has been done for close to three or four years now, and it really doesn't make any sense to go ahead and actually try to revive that for the Ninjago story. But there are a few pieces of evidence that people have pointed out as, you know, of course, a sign that Ninjago will be crossing over with Chima, the first of which is this poster for Lloyd. People are saying that the realm in which he appears to be in is Chima. I am not too sure about that. Of course, all of the other Ninjago March of the Oni posters were very dark, but Lloyd's is very bright, and you see a lot of green, and you see floating rocks in the background, and people, of course, compare the floating rocks to the ones in Chima, which there were a lot in Legends of Chima, but there were also floating rocks in Ninjago, as we saw with Jinjago when Nautacon tried to remake it in Ninjago itself. And of course, the Temple of Erijitsu is currently on a floating rock, if it's even still around in the Ninjago world anymore, I have no idea. But the thing is, floating rocks aren't, you know, synonymous with Legends of Chima. I mean, sure, floating rocks exist in that world as well and the world in which Lloyd is in right now in that poster looks to be very green and prosperous which definitely is not Ninjago in its current state however I do think it could be Ninjago after the Oni virus or whatever it is is wiped clean of course Lloyd will probably get some form of golden power back to defeat the Oni once and for all and he'll basically revive Ninjago and you know return it to its once prosperous state so I think that's what this is trying to represent I don't think it's saying that hey we're we're going to be getting a Legends of Chima and Ninjago crossover because I feel like that's way too late. If they wanted to do that again, they probably should have done that earlier. One other piece of evidence, though, that people have pointed out is that apparently in Season 11, Lloyd is supposed to get, like, a pet wolf or something. I have no idea. There's apparently a leak that, um, you know, there was a leak that said that there was going to be a pet wolf and they had a, they had a picture of a wolf and it's supposed to be Lloyd's wolf or whatever, but that honestly looks like it's something from a theme such as Lego Elves, so I really don't feel like it's going to be part of the actual Ninjago story, but I don't know, uh, you know, the leaks are always really inconsistent, so who really knows at this point. And something else that the leaks had said that people are suggesting is a Chima reference is the whole fire versus ice thing. Of course, that was a very huge part of the finale of Chima. I think the last, like, three waves focused on that, which was kind of ridiculous, but, you know, it, it, I don't really think that's going to be crossing over into Ninjago. Ninjago might be doing a similar thing for its 11th season, but I don't think it's going to be crossing over with Chima. And as for that place that Lloyd's in right now on the poster, again, my thoughts on that is that it's either just a remade Ninjago after the Oni virus has been stripped away from the land, or it's a different realm entirely. Who knows? Could be the realm of the first Benjutsu Master or something like that. I have no idea. Maybe at the end of Season 10, Lloyd goes off into a new realm and... He'll find a pet wolf and he'll meet up with the people of Chima and whatever, but probably not, honestly. That doesn't really seem like something, you know, Ninjago would do, especially considering, again, Chima's been dead for a very long time. So those were pretty much my thoughts on this whole Legends of Chima slash Ninjago crossover rumors and all that. I really don't see this happening, guys. I don't think it's going to. If I'm wrong, so be it, but I really don't think that's what's going down in Ninjago Season 11. It just really wouldn't make any sense again, and I've already explain my reasoning as to why that doesn't make sense in this video. 
Of course, you are free to speculate all you want, think whatever you want. Leave a comment down below talking about what you think about all this. Is Ninjago truly going to cross over with Chima, or is it just a wild theory made up by the fan base? Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up rating. And of course, remember to hit the subscribe button if you've not done so already. That would very much be appreciated, and it goes a long way to helping out the channel. If you want to help out the channel even further, the links in the description below will lead you to all my social media pages, Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, if you want to support me on that. All that's good too, and all that's down below in the description. So thanks a lot for watching once again, guys. My name is Jennifer Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.